glad you guys are all here this morning, and I want to explain to you uh, a new adventure we're going to take as a church family. And with this new sermon series, the Follow Him series, uh, we wanted to challenge our church family to do something pretty cool. And what we want to challenge you to do is share your testimony uh, online, either through social media or through some other venue, where you would actually video your testimony and share it with your friends and family, uh, just to proclaim that you follow Christ and that Christ is the Lord of your life. The impact of this could be phenomenal as your friends and family begin to see just the impact that Christ has made. And as you share your testimony, the gospel is being proclaimed uh, really to who knows how many people as we distribute it on social media. And so we're excited about this opportunity. And I wanted to give you a few guidelines for sharing your testimony online. First of all, keep it short. Uh, a minute to two minutes is really all you need. And you really want to have three elements. First, your life before Christ, uh, how you came to know Christ, and your life after Christ. How has Christ made a difference in your life? You know, and you don't have to feel like you have to share all the gruesome details. Again, this is, uh, you know, who knows who would be able to see this. So, you know, feel free to share what you're comfortable sharing, but don't feel like you have to share everything either. Really, the important thing is to make the statement that your life before Christ was um, destined for damnation apart from Christ, no salvation. And uh, with Christ, Christ has made the difference in how you came to know him and now what your life is like after uh, Christ. So feel free to share. Uh, I can tell you my testimony in just about a minute. Simply put, I grew up in a Christian home. Uh, my mom and dad both went to church all the time, but I didn't have a true relationship with Christ and I knew it in my heart. I felt uh, separated from him. I felt um, I knew my sin was great and I felt guilty for it. And what I needed was someone to come in and forgive me. And that's exactly what Christ did. I remember I was at a youth retreat, heard the speaker talk about the goodness of Christ. He preached the gospel of Jesus, lived the life that I needed. Um, he died the, the death that was destined for me, and he resurrected on the third day. And I believed the gospel, and as a result, Christ saved me. Since then, my life's not been perfect. Um, certainly, I've had many ups and downs, and I still struggle with sin. But I know I've been forgiven, and I know that Christ has a plan for me. So we put, that's my testimony in less than a minute, and I challenge you uh, to now share your testimony online as well so that others can see and know the goodness of our God. So I challenge you to follow him this week. Will you take that challenge? I hope you will. Thanks.